Hello Day 3 Lines fans. This is Monday, April 15th. Please subscribe and like if you like. So Stefan has hired Sloan, even though he's already made a, a deal with uh, the DA, which of course is EJ. EJ comes in to talk to him before their hearing, and he tells EJ, when I come home, and he's just like, brother, you're not coming home to our home. And he's like, yes, I am, EJ, and I want my, my spending money back. And EJ seemed to think that was funny, and he's like, brother, that's not going to happen. So they go over to the hearing with the judge. EJ presents a good case on his behalf, saying that they will accept him with time served. But the judge says, no way. This is a big offense. And I think it's a brother trying to get a brother off. So uh, Sloan showed her the statistics on how he's turned people in and helped people, and also that he was being threatened and his wife was beat up in, in jail. So she says she'll think about it. Sloan tells him, you're going to have to wait. When everybody's gone, he gets up in EJ's face. You know, you didn't stick to our plan, blah, blah, blah. And EJ's like, I said what I, I could do to get you out. And Stefan says, you know, I've got another copy of that phone call. I'm going to turn you in if things don't go my way. And EJ flipped. And he said, brother, you go on and turn me in. Turn it in. Because you, and I'll turn in that you shot Officer Harris. And you will be in prison for the rest of your life. But EJ won't because his offense isn't nearly as bad. So um, EJ leaves in a tiff and sucks about a tiff. Stefan's bent. Stefan stuff. Stefan's bent out of shape. He's kicking chairs. He's angry because he knows EJ's right. He will be in prison for the rest of his life, but EJ won't. Tate, Brady, and Teresa are having breakfast at the pub. They're telling him when he goes to school to stay away from her. Today's the big day for the press conference where EJ's going to publicly uh, apologize to them. Who walks in? Nicole and uh, Holly. So Holly says, let me go give them their apology letters. And Nicole says, okay. So she goes over and gives them the apology letters and hands them out to all three of them. And they all read them. And Brady's real nice and Tate's real nice. They say, thank you. Well, Teresa said thank you, but she said, let's just be clear, Holly. This doesn't mean that you can still go around my son. I want you to stay away from my son. And, you know, she agreed that she would. And they both, they all read the letters. So then EJ's on to the press conference, which he went on and did and was just finishing by the time the family got there. He did that on purpose. This is his day of being a prick. And um, the family is devastated. And EJ, what, what kind of crap is this? You know, and of course, Nicole and Holly are just embarrassed and aggravated, too. He just did it to be somebody's pain in the butt, you know. He, uh, Nicole said, I'm sorry. He's just having a bad day. I didn't know he was going to do this. And Teresa said, wait, wait, wait. He's having a bad day. You know, they don't give a crap. Her baby got beat up in jail. So here's Johnny and Chanel. They're at the cabin, but they can't get no peace, of course, because Julie's there walking up on them every minute. She's trying to leave, but Johnny says, no, the ferry's closed. We are snowed in. So she says, hey, I'll get y'all some gloves and hats, and y'all can go out and play in the snow, and then we'll try, we can have some cocoa. So she gets them their, their warm gear, and uh, they head out to the snow, make some snow angels, come back in, make some uh hot cocoa and play charades and Julie says hey the fire's going out so Johnny goes out to get the firewood but he's been gone a while so Chanel goes to see what's keeping him well Johnny comes back with the firewood and Julie's like hey where's Chanel and he's like what are you talking about and she said she went to find you and he said I didn't see Chanel and Julie's like my god where is she what's happened to her Chanel is missing <laughs>